up a gym right after We got off the phone, yeah We just reconnected Been a while since we spoke You tell me that it's been destined But the uncertainty, baby It made you shy away Now you're not saying I won't make it What you trying to say Happy Friday, everybody. Sherm sure here, the crazy Asian. Hope you're doing well. Um, just doing a few uh, Riz Rizzler um, videos, Rizzle, Rizzle visiting videos for Rizzlers. Um, R I Z Z L E. Um, it's April 3rd, 2020, and um, was able to uh, wake up, did uh, some um, early morning seminary, went over Mosiah chapters uh, 7 and 8 with Ryan, and was reminded that sometimes when we're, when we're in a struggle, um, there's a there's a phrase in there that says, I trust that there still is an effectual struggle to be made. When we find ourselves going through a trial, sometimes there's still a little bit more of the trial to go through, even though we think, even though we get a glimpse at light at the end of the tunnel. And man, is that ever, ever important in the circumstances that we find ourselves right in now with COVID-19 that we might find ourselves getting somewhat uh, of a handle on it, but yet there still is an effectual struggle to be made. There's still a little bit more that we must endure. And um, we we need to, I love this quote, this phrase, um, work as though everything depended on you, but pray as though everything depended on God. And I think for a lot of people, having spirituality during this time time can give you a great sense of comfort, of peace. It can help give you some clarity in the in the midst of this chaos and this turmoil. Um, these are truly unprecedented times. Um, we are living history. The people people will will in the future will say, where, where were you? during COVID-19? What did your family do? What what did you do? What did your company do? And then afterwards, everybody, it's not like all of a sudden it's going to lift and we're just going to go back to normal. It'll be some time before normalcy hits and we won't go back. Remember, the past doesn't... We, as a human, we as a person, we don't go back into the past. This isn't, you know, Back to the Future with Marty McFly. We're getting into the DeLorean and we're going at 70, uh, you know, 88 miles an hour and going back in time. So because of this dramatic shift where there's so many non-essential businesses that are working from home, that might be a new norm. Working out from home might be a new norm. There might be a lot of fitness centers that go out of business. There might be a lot of hotels that fold. There might be a lot of cruise liners, um, you know, stuck ashore. In the midst of all that, what can you and I be doing to better ourselves? to get ourselves ready, which might mean that we might need to take a shift right now. So I think about people that run their own business, a, a coach, someone in marketing, they might find that instead of making 10 phone calls, they need to make 20. They might they might find that um, before they're they were charging 1,000, they might need to change, charge 800 or 750 or 600 in order to, for the same for the same job in order to get more business. Or they might have to go and, you know, from from 8 p.m. to 6 a.m. might have to work at the local grocery store, uh, loading, uh, you know, stocking shelves. Do whatever needs to get done. Be willing to eat dirt um, in order for you to be able to have the life that you want. It's been, and, and, it, and it is bragged about, right, by, by family oftentimes where they talk about mom or dad working two, two and a half, three jobs in order to make sure that things at home were 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 done well. It didn't mean they lived in a lap of luxury. It means that they had food on the table and they had a sh roof over their head. Be willing to do that. Have grit in this time. This current economic um, downturn will affect a lot, will affect a lot of people. And those though, that know how to dig in with grit, perseverance, and can shift the quickest, will find themselves the most relevant. Keep adding value and keep taking action. Sherm's out. Hi everybody, got here to the office, again in record time. 
Uh, I've got 52 ounces of water. I'll make sure to stay hydrated. A little bit of bread. There's some sandwiches. Let's go. All right, buddy. So very productive day. Um, I did a post out there earlier on just to be able to that we're tougher than the circumstances we find ourselves in. And I think we only know the depth of that toughness when we are when we have to be pushed to the limits uh, of our lives. And, and, that, and that is extremely painful. And in no way is it meant to be like a rah-rah motivational kind of quip. It's just reality that you and I both don't know how strong we are until we're pushed to the, li the, the limits of that strength, until we're, we put in all the weights on that, on that bar that we can handle and we try to actually lift it. And the pain of actually having our muscles and our bones sustain that weight, we either know that we can do it or not. And, but we only know if we can do it or not if we actually put it up and we actually put on the weight same thing where we find ourselves in in this particular moment in life very unprecedented times each of us has to find that that grit in order to be successful grit is what's going to separate us from the quitters and the losers and then the winners and the successes it doesn't mean that we're going to be multi-millionaires or billionaires because of this situation but what it will mean is that we become a better quality of character on who we are based on that grit. So I want to wish you all the best. Shrimps out. Just that time. Hey there, everybody. Happy Friday. Shrimp here, the crazy Asian grit. That is the element that people need today in order to get through what we're going through right now. It's tough. Tough times to though call for tough people. How you and I react to this will either prove whether we're a winner mentally in our attitude or we're a loser mentally with how we handle things. A lot of what's going on right now is completely out of our control. But what it is in our, in our, in our control is how we deal with it mentally, what we decide to do. That is the element that's going to separate us from winning and from us losing. I want to wish you all the best. And we truly don't know the depth of our strength till we're put to the limits, till we're asked to do things we've never had to do before. Now, step, stepping sideways might be necessary in order for us to move forward. Shrimps out. But I do this because I live like I'm going to die today. Passionate about it. You got to have it a doubt. And I got to have it of working and earning it. I am out in the city of angels. I know that they're looking out for me. This is my testimony for all of y'all that have been doubting me. The evidence is evident. Music is my medicine, my testament. Meant to be, be true to you. A legend in the making. Make the best of every moment. Because nothing lasts forever. But forever I'll be focused. Focus on the now, now, now.